everyone, I'm Lauren McBride and welcome to my free dotting workshop. In this workshop, I'm going to be teaching you how to create simple but beautiful designs using just your dotting tools. So let's get started. Hi everyone, so welcome to my workshop which is for dotting today. So as you can see I have prepared five tips that all have a different dotting design on. So these are the designs I'm going to be going through today and teaching you how to do. So a lot of people tend to discredit um, dotting and dotting tools as a viable design to be able to do on clients nails but as you can see from these designs you can get really effective quick simple designs just from using your dotting tools and nothing else um, to create really effective designs so on these i have just used black and white just for the purposes of this workshop just so you guys can see the contrast between the dots and the background and i've used a nude and a light gray and then all of my dots, I've used the black and the white. So that's just for the purposes of this video. I mean, you can change up the colors, you can go neon, you could go pastels, you could go brights, you could do any sort of colors that you want. But just for the purposes of this video, I've used black, whites and nudes. So I'm gonna be going through these designs in order. So I'm gonna be doing a swirl, or a wave design and then I'm going to be doing the swirls and then the round flower designs and then I'm going to go into more intricate like your mandala style patterns on these two okay so the dotting tools that I'm going to use are the Nalchemy dotting tools. Now, I they have three dotting tools, but they are double-ended, so you get six different sizes all together out of the three dotting tools. So that goes from the larger down to the smaller dots, as you can see, and also we've got a pointy tool just here, and I'll be showing you how to use that a little bit later on in this workshop okay so they are the only tools i'm going to be using today all right and i've also got my palette here which has got my black and my white artisan gel paint now if you have watched my mediums workshop you will understand why i'm using the artisan gels rather than a normal gel polish because they hold their weight and they don't disperse as much as what a normal gel polish would you can do these designs in a normal gel polish but it would mean that you would have to flash cure a lot more in between your different dots that you're doing so I'm just going to move that to one side and the first nail that we're going to be creating is this sort of wave design going down across the entire nail okay so I've prepared my tips I've just done two coats of my color obviously if we were doing this on a client we would have base coat and then two coats of our color and then I've just wiped off the tacky layer with the gel residue wipe off um, just to remove that inhibition layer if we left that on and then we started dotting on top the inhibition layer would slightly bloom the dots and would make them fuzzy and we want them nice and crisp like they are on this nail okay so that's why i've removed that inhibition layer all right so the first thing i'm going to say is don't be scared to draw your outline onto the nail i mean absolutely you can freestyle it but because this pattern is quite regimented and we want to keep that swirling we don't want to end up making more of a rounded shape and we don't want to create any straight lines we want to create that flow across the nail so what i'm going to do i'm going to just put in my first my first wave so i want it to start here and end up in this corner of the nail so I'm just going to pop in my with my pencil 
my first swell. So that is going to be the basis that we're going to work from to create the rest of the swells going this way and this way, okay? So I'm gonna use my large dotting tool. Okay, so this is the largest one I have. And the reason I'm using that is because I want the largest dot to be the size of my dotting tool, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the black and I'm gonna pop it into my product and make sure that my dotting tool is fully loaded, okay? Now, I'm just gonna pop in my first dot and if you've watched my mediums workshop, you'll understand the process of creating a nice crisp dot. And then I'm just gonna go back into my palette and I want these dots to slowly get smaller. So I'm just applying a little less pressure each time along that line, going back into my palette each time and creating a gradient in size of dots. Now when we get to about the halfway point, it would probably be a good idea to move down in size of dotting tool. Now the reason I do that is because if we use too large a dotting tool, we're not gonna create that gradient properly down the swell or the wave of this line. So I've just gone down in size of my dotting tool and you can see I've applied full pressure on that dotting tool but it is creating that gradient okay so a little less pressure each time and each time we do a dot we're getting less product on our dotting tool so that helps to create the gradient in the line now what I'm going to do, I am using the Artisan, so as you can see, none of those dots have moved because they're holding their own weight, and I'm just gonna pop that in for a really quick flash cure. So I want to create a difference in the colors, so each line or each wave of dots, I'm gonna alternate them between the black and the white. So obviously if you were doing different colors, then you would need to clean off that dotting tool each time. What I've also done is I've alternated the size of the dots going down the nail. So this one is larger going to smaller, this one's going larger to smaller this way, and vice versa, all right? So I'm just going to go in again with the same size dotting tool, but into my white this time that I started with last time and I'm gonna start from this end and I'm gonna go larger here and doing exactly the same using the wave that we've created with the black and going down. Now I'm just gonna change the size of my dotting tool again and just follow that wave that we've created as a guide. Okay, now because we're not going directly next to the dots that we've just done, I can do the other side of the black line. Okay, so again, larger here, following that wave, all the way down to the tip of the nail. Again, I'm just gonna change the size of that dotting tool. I've got about halfway down. And that allows me to create smaller dots but adding the same amount of pressure. Okay, and that's now gonna go in for a flash cure. So when I say flash cure, it's just 10 seconds underneath my LED lamp. The artisan gels do need a full 60 second cure, which we will do at the end, but we just want to flash cure them so that we know that they're not going to go anywhere. Again, I'm just gonna clean off the end of my dotting tools 
and now I'm going to go in with my black. So again, I'm going to start larger here because it's alternate to the white that I've done. Okay, and now I'm going to go on the other side of the white that we did just now. Because that's had a flash cure, we're not going to have to panic about our products blending into one another. So I'm just going to go down in size again. It's really important that you do watch my mediums workshop and also my brush techniques workshop to be able to understand the different techniques that I'm using to be able to do this. And again, I'm just gonna pop that in for a flash cure. So if you were doing this on a client and say it was an accent nail, you would be doing the other nail now and flash curing and then vice versa and swapping their hands over. So I'm just gonna go in with my white now starting bigger at this end. I'm going slightly smaller with my dotting tool. I'm following that curve each time, okay? Again, starting larger this end. following that curve of that wave. So it's really important that you follow the curve of the wave because we don't want to get any straight lines going on as we move out towards the outer edge of the nail. And again, I'm just gonna pop that in for a quick flash cure so that we know that those dots aren't going to move anywhere. And then I'm gonna go in with my black. And we just need two there. And then starting larger here. And that's that nail complete. So I'm just gonna pop that in now for a full cure. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna move on to the next design. So this design is using a swirl design, okay? Now, a lot of people tend to panic when they do a swirl design be a, to be able to get that roundness to the swell. And it's really important that we keep that roundness of the swell, otherwise you can tend to lose the design. So what I'm going to do, because this is half and half, I'm gonna draw a line across the nail that's given me my halfway point. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just need a guide to be able to do that halfway point. Now, I know that the highest point of this swell needs to be on that line. So, I'm creating my guideline of my swell with my pencil and coming in and round and tucking that under. I want it to almost flow off of the nail. And then we're gonna do exactly the same here, but go opposite. So this is gonna flow this way, come up to that line, and then swirl in on itself there. Okay, so we have now created our guideline for that nail. All right, can you see that there? So now, because this is quite an intricate design and I want to leave space for my white dots, I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller dotting tool. So this isn't my largest, it's the next one down. And I'm gonna start with my black dots where they're going to be larger. So 
I've got a larger one there going up around that curve and then I'm going to move down in size in dotting tool again and moving round to create the curve of that swell so we are making them smaller as they're coming in and round but we don't want to make them too small so that they disappear into nothing because we want to keep our eye creating that swell all right so again i'm just going to pop that in for a quick flash cure so this one's now complete so it's up to you as to whether you use a shiny or a matte top coat just for the purposes of the video just to help get rid of the shine so you don't get any glare I'm going to go over this one with a matte top coat okay so you are going to have obviously a slightly raised effect with the dots so you need to make sure that you've got a nice even coat of your top coat there on that nail. So obviously that's shiny at the moment, but once we cure that fully, it will turn to a matte top coat. So again, I'm just gonna go in with my black and complete the other swell. So going larger here, moving round, and because we've got that guide, if we were trying to do this freehand, which absolutely you can, but because we've got that guide of that pencil line, you don't have to worry too much about the swells being even because we've already done that in our pencil line. Whereas if you were trying to do this freehand, it would be that little bit more difficult to gauge where the curve of the swell needs to start and end and get that swirl in there correctly all right so i've done that one and i'm just going to pop that in for a flash cure while that one's going in i'm just going to take this one out my uh, matte top coat is a wipe off so i'm just going to wipe that off and there you can see we've created that wave pattern so i'm just going to pop that on the stand so that i can show you at the end and now i'm going to go in <clears throat> with a lot finer dotting tool so this is the second to smallest okay and i'm going to create that inner swirl with my white so you don't have to do this but it does make a nice contrast so what i'm actually going to do i'm not going to start down here because it can distort the line going off of the nail so i'm actually going to start up here okay and then i can continue that line so that it goes off of the nail okay so just going into my white and I'm just going to flow that up using my black as the guide. Now I'm going to change down to my smallest size in dotting tool. So this isn't the pointy, it's still the round. Okay. And I'm just going to taper that in to that curve and I'm going to do exactly the same because we've got no fear of our product bleeding into one another again I'm going to start here and go off of the nail that way so that we get that nice flow and then I'm going to follow that up and round again changing the size of my dotting tool down to the smallest following that curve in and around 
the rest of that swell. And I'm just going to pop that in now for a full cure, ready for top coating. So the next design we're going to do is flowers come circles. So this has got a slightly different effect to it. So if you can see, we have got a double layer of dots on this one. So I've actually done a white dot and then done a black dot in the middle so that we almost create the outline of that black dot. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So again, I've got my tip here, all right? And I'm just going, so this is going to be freehand. So I'm going to get my largest dotting tool and I'm gonna create the centers of, I'm gonna call them flowers. I know they're not particularly flower-like, but let's go with that. So I'm gonna push that down so it's fully the size of my dotting tool, okay? And then I want another one here. And another one here. And then another one just off of the nail. and I'm gonna pop that in for a 30 second cure this time because I want it to be slightly more stable than a flash cure. So I'm gonna pop that one in. Now, this has had a full cure and obviously we've got our central line that we used as a guide. So that is why I fully cured it and I'm just gonna go in with my gel wipe off solution and just get rid of that pencil line and that's completely got rid of that. So I just need for that to evaporate slightly and then I'm gonna go in again with my matte top coat and that's gonna go in for a full cure. Again, making sure it's a nice even top coat. And capping that end and that is gonna go in for a full cure. Okay, so my flower design has had a 30 second cure rather than a flash cure and you'll see why I've done that now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use my largest dotting tool that I used for the center of the flowers. I'm actually gonna go down a size and use my second to largest dotting tool. And I'm gonna go into my black and I'm gonna go on top of the dot that I've just created with the white. So I'm just gonna go in and then that looks like I've outlined that black dot. Again, I'll show you again. And just pop that on there. So that is why we have done a 30 second cure rather than a flash cure. Because if we had just flash cured it, it would still, the white would still be too fluid and it would merge too much, okay? And I'm just gonna pop that in that lamp and that's gonna be a flash cure. We don't need to do a 30 second or a full cure. So my swell design has now come out. I'm just gonna wipe that over just to reveal the matte effect on that nail. And you can see how quick this is. So, you know, it's a really effective way of creating really quick nail art for your clients within a salon environment and your time constrictions that that makes. So I'm gonna go round with a smaller dotting tool and I'm gonna go quite close because I want this design to be quite compact. And I'm just gonna go round that central point that I've created. Okay. And I'm gonna do this one here. So again, going into my palette each time, because I want my dots to be the same size now. I don't want them to have a gradient in size. So 
you can probably get two dots out of one application from your palette okay and I'm just going to pop that in for a flash cure so I'm just going to do the other two so the reason I didn't do this one is because it's too close to this one I didn't do this one because it's too close to this one so I've done the two that are furthest away from each other again just working round that central point that we've created and now I'm going to do the lower one which we're not going to get a whole flower on that's intentional I quite like designs that tend to flow off of the nail okay and then I'm going to flash cure so now what I want to do is to create like a border around those flowers so I'm using my second smallest size in dotting tool okay and I'm just going to go into my white and I'm going to create a border that connects all of these flowers so these don't have to be regimented in size they can change in size it is quite nice for them to have a variation in size but I'm just going to go in and around just to connect these flowers up and then going round this is what creates the flow you don't have to do this you could just leave it that you've got the flowers there but I quite like this it's a little bit like um, Aboriginal art where they use all the dots And then I'm just going to go round all the way. So I'm not being too finicky on my sizing. Here they can change in size. I'm going to show you what to do here in a second. all the way round to meet up with that lower flower so I'm just going to go in with my smallest dotting tool now and just sort out this negative space so I'm just going to go in with two smaller dots just there Okay, I'm just going to pop that in once again for a flash cure. So now what I'm going to do, I do want to create another border around the flowers, but in the black. So I'm going to use my smallest dotting tool. This isn't the pointy dotting tool. It is the smallest dotting tool that I've got. And now I'm going to go in and create some really itty bitty dots. Again, they don't have to be regimented in size. But this is helping to create that border just around the flower design. just to create that point and then go in so this part of the design has flowed off the nail but you've got to make sure that you continue the design as though it had gone round 
creates a nice flow. The nice thing about flash curing is that if we were to make a mistake, we would be able just to wipe that off. So, for example, I'm not quite happy with this arrangement here, so I'm just going to go in with my gel wipe off and just remove that whole section. You could use a brush to do this, but you tend to chase the colour all the way around the nail, which we don't want to do. It's just time consuming, so... It's just easier to remove that section of dots and then we can go in and replace them. So that's why flash curing is an absolute godsend because we can go in and change a dot if we don't like where the placement is. Okay, so that's that one complete, and now we're going to create this sort of mandala-esque design, which is at the base of the nail, going down into the cuticle. So, again, I've done my two base layers of colour, wiped off the inhibition layer, and now that's ready to go in with our dotting. I'm just going to pop on this one, our matte top coat. and pop that in the lamp for a full cure. Okay, so with this one, like we did with our, our double swirl pattern, okay, I am going to use a guideline. So the first thing I want to do is establish where the center point of the nail is. So I'm just gonna draw a vertical line down the central point of the nail. I am then going to draw where I want this top curve of my swells to be. Okay, you see that there? Just gonna sort that out. And then I'm going to go in with my pencil line and create that curve. All right, and I'm gonna do exactly the same. So we want it to meet at the same point here all right, and then we want this to be even as well. And like I say, don't be scared to draw on your client's nail to give you that guide. It's going to make the whole process so much quicker. <coughs> okay, so I'm just gonna wipe off this nail now because it's had a full cure. I'm gonna pop it to one side so I can show you at the end. Okay, so this is just using the black, all right? And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with, not my largest dotting tool, but the next one down, my second to largest. I'm gonna go into my black and I'm gonna create a base point to work from. So I'm gonna pop that dot there, get rid of the excess on there, I don't want too much product and that dot there, okay? And I'm just gonna pop that in for a flash cure. So with dotting, it's always good to have a central point or a base to work from. So for this nail, it is these dots here. I'm not gonna to attempt to do these yet because I want that to flow down. So the next thing we're going to do is our curves. So I'm just gonna take that out of the lamp and I'm going to use a smaller dotting tool so I'm not going to try and do it with a large one and I'm going to start here and then I'm not going to go back into my palette because I want them to taper down in size and then I'm going to use my smallest dotting tool just to finish off that curve Okay, so because our curves aren't near one another, we can do exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, going in with my slightly larger dotting tool, 
And because we've created that grid, there's no panic on where to start, where to stop, and everything else. We have got that guideline. And that is going to save you so much time when it comes to doing this on an actual client. Okay, and I'm going to pop that in for a cure. Just a quick flash cure. Lovely, that's done. So now what I want to do, I want to finish off this central line. So I've got a slightly smaller dot just to finish off this group of three here. Okay, coming up from the bottom. And then I'm going to work my way the other way down the nail. So I'm going to use my second largest dotting tool to create this main dot here. Okay, and then a slightly smaller one. And then I'm going to go down in size in my dotting tool and do a smaller one just there. That's how quick and easy that design can be. So I'm going to pop that in for a full cure now and pop that to one side. And now I'm going to show you this really intricate <clears throat> design just here. So this can be as elaborate or as simple as you want it to be, but the mandala style nails or the henna nails, which sometimes people refer to these as, can be really quite intricate. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to create that one. So as with all the other nails, I have done my two coats of colour. So if this was a client, it would be your base coat and two coats of colour. And then I've wiped off that inhibition layer. So what I want to do, like with the others, is create that central point that we're going to work from. So I'm just going to go in with my black and create that central point on that nail. All right. And then what I'm going to do <clears throat> is go down in size of my dotting tool and go up from that point and then I want to create a curve so this nail is slightly bigger than the one I've used as an example so there's going to be slightly more dots on it and I've created like a half moon shape but this needs to be symmetrical so the same amount of dots need to be on each side of this central point so you need to do three. And the reason for that will become apparent a little bit later on. So I'm gonna pop that in for a flash cure. And then like we did with the swells, this one's had a full cure now. So it enables me to go in and remove those pencil lines that we used as a guide. Okay, so those pencil lines have completely gone now. Just wait for that to evaporate slightly. And then I'm going to go in with my top coat. So like I've said before, you can use matte, you can use a no wipe, or you can use a wipe off shiny. It's entirely up to you, but just for the purposes of this video, so we don't get any glare, I'm using a matte. Again, that's going to go in for a full cure. Okay, so I've taken this one out of the lamp, and now we want to create another layer of dots in the same curvature as what we've just created on here. So again, I'm going to go into my black. I'm using my second smallest dotting tool now, and again, it needs to be symmetrical. So I'm working from that center line, okay, and then I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So that means now that we've got to do four on the other side. So you've got one, two, three, four. Now, as you can see, they have started at the same place and finished at the same place. That's really important for this design, okay? So that's gonna go in for a flash cure. I'm going to take out my swirly cuticle 
mandala and just wipe that over with a little bit of gel wipe off solution some matte top coats you don't have to wipe off but my one is a wipe off i'm just going to pop that to one side okay so now we've got our symmetrical baseline that we're going to work from so now what i'm going to do i'm going to actually get my pointy dotting tool so this hasn't got a ball it's actually got a point on the end of it and that helps us to create real pinpoint dots <clears throat> so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go either side of my central dot okay so this is my central dot line and I'm going to do where I want to go to at my highest point. So that will be this point here, okay? And I'm gonna create like a teardrop sort of shape, but using the point of my pointy dotting tool, okay? So you can see how much smaller those dots are. I'm gonna go to the other one that is symmetrical to that. So I've done one, two, three, four, five. So I need to do five on this side. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five. All right. And now what we're going to do is the same on this side, okay. But I'm going to work from this dot because they're going to overlap each other. So I'm going to work from this dot and this dot. All right. So my central dot for this one is this dot here. So again, I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Do the same here, so one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So this is my central dot, so I'm going to go up from there. And it needs to be symmetrical with that one. So coming straight out, and we're going to do a dot there. And then we're going to go from this one because it's on the other side of my central line. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now while I'm here, I'm just going to carry that out slightly. To create our point. Okay, I'm going to pop that in for a flash cure. So like we've done in our flower technique, I want to create a double layer of dots. So in the lower dots, I'm going to go in with my white and I'm just going to pop the white in there so that has a black outline. And then I'm going to go down in size so like with our flower design I want to create a double layer of dots so that has come out from its cure and I'm going to go in with my smaller dotting tool on my white and I want to create a double layer on these bottom dots just here so I'm going to go in making sure that I've got that border to my white dot. I'm going to do the same on this layer of dots just above that central dot. Just to create that double layer of dots. Now I also want to create a layer of dots in between those arches that we've created. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with my smallest dotting tool 
and I want to make them central so or even should I say so I'm just going to go in and create a second arch of dots but in white this helps to give a nice dimension of colour obviously if you were doing this in different colours you could do like a rainbow effect or the, the effects are endless with dots ok so I've created a second arch just there now because I'm using my artisan gel it means that this isn't going to move anywhere so it does mean that I can go in and create my other peaks so again this is my central line but this is off of the nail now so I just need to pretend like that central dot is here somewhere okay so I'm just going in and doing exactly the same as what I did for the other three but obviously I haven't got a point to work to right and that is going in for a full cure so again like with all the others you can top coat with whatever you wish whether it be a no wipe top coat a matte top coat or a full shine top coat so I'm just going to pop these here and just show you the designs that we've created so we have got our wave design we've got our reverse double swirl okay we've got our flower aboriginal sort of art design and we've also got the beginnings of a mandala design at our cuticle and then I'm just waiting for our last one to come out of the lamp so with dotting like I say don't be scared to use your pencil on your clients now to create that outline and that grid to be able to work to because you will find that a lot of your time with dotting especially if it swells or circles or a pattern that it's really quite difficult to do it freehand and just by eye because you are trying to create a symmetrical especially with swells a symmetrical pattern and a lot of the time people tend to go in and try and freestyle it and then they aren't happy with their dot placements they end up wiping it off and it, you know it's just one of those that you haven't got time when it's an actual client sat in front of you to be doing those dots four or five times so don't be scared to use your pencil and draw those guidelines on and then over time once you get more confident using your dotting tools and once you get more confident with the size and the layout of your dots and that the pressure that you need to use to create to create the different size dots you'll find that you'll be able to do your swells with freehand a lot more quicker but certainly as a beginner don't be scared to use that guideline of your pencil so you can see here these ones are done in matte and these ones are done in shiny so just for the purposes of the video you can see the matte a lot better and you know this would be really lovely in like um, blues and purples or a rainbow colour so you could start with your red here going up into your purple the, the list and combination of colours you can use for dot work is endless so I've just taken my mandala style out of the lamp and that is fully cured now and wiped it off and that completes our set so I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon so that completes my dotting workshop. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you now feel confident enough to be able to create beautiful, simple designs on your clients' nails just using dotting tools. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you click the like button and if you'd like to be kept up to date with any future videos, please click the subscribe button 
on the notification bell so you will be the first to hear of any of my future workshops. I also have a Facebook group which includes lots of free workshops and tips, advice and techniques and support and in that group you can also move on to more advanced techniques through other workshops. I'll pop the link for that below and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks guys! Thank <laughs> you.